Hello friends! Welcome! This is a very unusual place to start, I know. We're in my very packed closet because I need to plan for my trip to New York City. I'm going to see BTSSB, otherwise known as Baby the Star Shine Bright at New York Fashion Week and I'm super excited. I need to plan my cord for the show and other outfits that I will be bringing to New York City and um, having a good time there. So come along with me. So the back of my closet has all of my Lolita. I did recently acquire this BTSSB blouse, so I will be bringing this blouse. This is the blouse and it has princess sleeves. The lace is super cute, so I'm so happy that I picked this up from a friend who's also part of the community. I'm definitely bringing this. Since I don't own a lot of BTSSB, actually that blouse is the only piece I own as BTSSB, I was thinking of bringing something that is adjacent. Turns out I have a lot of AP. I think this maybe JSK would suit. It feels very baby adjacent. It is angelic pretty. I think I can get away with this and the blouse. So these two together I think will look really good. So yeah. It, it looked like that and I think that's super super cute and I think that'll be perfect so I'm bringing these two items I know for sure I'm gonna bring these two I'm gonna to need to figure out what accessories to bring that would go with that cord let's go into my accessories to figure out what we can grab I do have some navy pieces I could probably bring this let's just take it out for now I changed my style since joining the community I'm a little bit more sweet and my preferred colorway is sax, not navy. So you'll see a lot of sax pieces in here. Let's check the other drawer real quick. I will organize this at some point, just not today. Okay, so wrist cuffs, I definitely need that. I prefer these wrist cuffs which I got from a comm member, Dreamy Pebble. She's since moved, but I still love to commission from her. This lace is very soft. Um, I'll link her down below. She's um, great at sewing, custom work like wrist cuffs, bags, accessories. Love her stuff, so I'm going to be bringing that wrist cuff. I do have this navy bow that I can put on the wrist cuff, so I'll probably take that off this wrist cuff and put it on the other one. I just need to find the pair to that. This is an accessory, a hair accessory. It's navy with a cross and pearls and has a black veil. I don't think this will suit my cord. I don't have a lot of black in my cord, so this I would probably not bring. Oh. Here's the other one. I'll probably bring this as legwear. It is uh, just some tights. Might have to start organizing. Okay, hold on one second. I'm gonna prop you guys up. I used two hands to dig in here. There's a pretty high chance that I sold the navy accessory that I'm thinking of. Pretty high chance. Mostly because I don't wear that JSK that often. Oh, wait, nope. I found it. So this is the one I was looking for. I haven't worn it with a cord yet. It is a headdress. I don't normally go for this because my hair is already flat as it is and this makes it even flatter. It's very pretty. It has pearls. The lace is nice. These are the accessories I am thinking about bringing. They're pretty small so I can just bring it all and then figure out how I want to accessorize when I'm there. I also need to think about jewelry. Now the problem with jewelry is because I am so so sweet leaning, I have more sweet pieces and I don't have a lot of navy pieces. I might not have anything that will suit the cord, which is unfortunate. But I do have a lot of BBNB pieces, so I have this box of accessories. Straight off the bat, I could probably do pearl necklaces. That will probably work. Oh, this could work. This is from Of A Long Lost Land, also a Calm member. Look how stunning that is. Her work is just gorgeous. I like to support my friends. So we're probably gonna go with this or this. I'll probably bring both. Now, in terms of shoes, I do have a lot of options. So these are all my shoes. I can go with navy, white, black, maybe this white as well. I should go for the navy. My only problem with the navy is I'm a little tired of it. Um, I've had it for a very long time. 
it's okay. Not obsessed with this shoe. I should go with this navy pair, but I'm very partial to these black shoes. They're very, very comfortable. I won't have issues with them. They just don't quite work with the cord, so that's why I'm hesitant to bring them. These white ones, I shouldn't go with because it'd be navy, white, navy, white, white, but they're an option. I think the only way I will find out is if I wear the cord and try on the shoes. Anyways, I will figure that out at some point. Okay, so this is what I have in here right now. I will pack it away a little bit more neatly, but this is my cord. Let's just pack it away. <laughs> totally forgot I also need to pack my petticoat. Here's my petticoat currently inside out. I usually store it away in a bag. It's definitely losing some of its poof so if you know how to re-poof petticoats let me know. Okay I'm going to pack away all my non-lolita stuff off camera um, and the next time I see you I'll be on my way to New York City. I'm at South Station. I got here super early at 8.19. My train isn't scheduled to leave until 9.20. I decided to take a time lapse while waiting for the train because I don't usually get to do this feature a lot. So I just needed something to pass the time while I was waiting and I hope you enjoy. I'm heading out. It's a little early. Usually they tell us when the train will arrive and I'm a little nervous so I'm totally down. I was supposed to record myself when I got to New York City, but I got a little self-conscious, so I'm going to mostly do voiceovers for the rest of the video. Right now, I'm on my way to drop off my luggage so I can explore the city without having to drag it around. You may have noticed that I'm using a different suitcase, and that's because the blue one was too small, so I switched it out for my larger pink suitcase. I used a service called Bounce and was able to leave my suitcase there for the whole day before I had to head to my friend's place who was hosting me for the weekend. I went to the Manhattan Wardrobe Supply, which is a store that sold cosplay supplies. It's kind of hidden. I would have passed it if I didn't read the building number because it looked like an apartment entrance. There was a doorman sitting at a table where you had to sign in and then you take the elevator to the 8th floor. This is absolutely amazing because it is hard to get your hands on cosplay supplies in person and they had warbla, they had all kinds of paint, they had displays that cosplayers have, I'm not sure if they donated it or they let the store display this and it was just awe-inspiring to see all of this in one place. So I had to check it out and there's my friend Danielle, she's the one that it cosplayed as SP. I then went to Tesla Life in K-Town to check out the flower nose collection that they had in person. Sorry, I don't have a lot of clips here, just me going up the staircase and making my way to the back of Tesla Life, which had the flower nose makeup. My friend organized dinner in Upper East Side at a restaurant called NR. We actually passed the entrance of the building because the only sign you can see from the sidewalk was the very subtle gold text on the door. I got a warm apple pie which they gave me in this super cute tea and saucer set. 
Since it was happy hour, my friend and I decided to split a dozen oysters, which came from PEI Island in Canada. We also shared this dish, this which was so called different. doubled egg plus egg yeah. plus egg. egg like and it was really unique because it had sea urchin in it. And I was really excited to try it. Trying the sea urchin deviled egg? What what in this? Shisha leaf, like the kind of like the minty leaf. Oh, that's really good. Not your average deviled egg, for sure. A little spicy. It has like the karashi mustard. I think it's like. Oh, is that what it is? The way I didn't like read it, I just saw a sea urchin deviled yeah. egg. For my main dish, I got the soupless sea urchin and salmon caviar. As you can see, sea urchin was the theme of the night. And unfortunately, I think sea urchin's just a little bit too salty for me. Good morning at New York Fashion Week in line for BTSSB. Um, there is actually a really long line already. And we had lined up at 11. Event starts at 1. And we're all really excited. So nice to see everybody dressed up and in frills. So it's very nice. Someone was giving out these Usakumia cookies, and they are so cute. I feel bad eating it, but I'm hungry. I haven't had breakfast. Won't have food till four. So I'm gonna eat now. Hi, my friend. This is X. She got me in. <laughs> it's my snack. It is, what time is it? 11.35 and we still have an hour and a half. Oh wait, it opens in an hour? Okay. Doors open in an hour. So I'm gonna have a snack right now. That's really good. Yeah, it's, like a, it's a sugar cookie. It's like a shortbread. That's why I already recorded it and took photos, and now I'm filming myself eating it, so. Yeah. I'll check in again later. Bye! This is how my cord looked all put together. It's hard to see the full effect because of my coat, but I really like this cord. Rex dressed in OG, and she did a fantastic job putting her look together. I absolutely love her little cat bag. I think it was around 12 when I got this shot of the line and you can't even see where it ends. We made it in. We got seats. Um, they're not reserved, but they're the only seats that are not reserved. So we got lucky. Yeah, we just <laughs> took them before anybody else could notice. Um, and yeah, there's been some sort of seating kerfuffle. I don't know what's going on here, but some people got their seats reserved and ended up not being able to sit there. But hopefully they can sit there. There's a lot of people here who are also not part of the fashion. But that's okay, I, I guess. That's fine. <laughs> Not me filming your DS.
Dan is going to come out. I just got out of the BTSSB New York Fashion Show and it was absolutely amazing. Um, we started a little late, it started like around 1.30 and then it finished around 2. And oh my god, all the dresses, so good, so good. Makes me want to get some baby pieces. I thoroughly enjoyed the show. Everyone was so pretty there too, they all were all dressed up and I just enjoyed seeing everyone in their frills and seeing all their cords. Anyways, I'm heading to Koreatown to get some KBBQ and I will be doing that in Lolita because I don't have a change of clothes. Uh, I'm staying in Brooklyn so it's a little too far for me to change and then come back to get food. So I'm just going to go straight there. I did a bad job documenting the rest of my trip so please enjoy the series of clips for the rest of the video. I went to Mercer Labs with my friend Carrie, and it felt very reminiscent of Team Labs exhibit in Tokyo. It did get a little repetitive near the end because almost all the rooms had mirrors in them, but overall we had a good experience.
the I chose the penguin. If I color outside the light, it's fine. <laughs> I'm being like very precise and then you're over here like, <laughs> like shh, shh, shh. I was like this is how I know it's gonna be mine the purple outline <laughs> I'm being very meticulous over here You're gonna be done before I'm like even done with one color No, I'm coloring it, I'm coloring it nice <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? It's, it's gonna get cut off when they scan it I don't need a color inside the line <laughs> The darker the better. Maximum of two, what? Like, oh, colors. Oh no! Two animals. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was gonna be, yeah, color forever. I should have taken the tripod out. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna record this forever. I just get enough of them. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. This is how our drawing looked. Mine is on the right. Ours would be the most colorful in this area. Oh, that actually looks good. Yeah. The, oh, the white bits are really annoying me, but that's okay. Like, you missed a little bit on the tail or something. No, I think that's just how it's like 3D rendered. Yeah, 3D rendered. Like if there's like a little slip. Yeah. Slip, that's so cute. That's cute. Oh, that's So even though I didn't sit at any of the reserved seats, I was able to get some of the cards that Baby was giving out to those specific seats. My friends were very generous and they gave me these cards that they didn't want. And so I collected about nine of them and I think I'm only missing two cards. One of them is the front card of the pack. And the second one is a close-up shot of a red and white dress that both of my friends really loved, so I wasn't able to get those. All of these are absolutely gorgeous, and I'm so glad that even though I wasn't able to sit at those seats, I was still able to get these. I went to the Kino Kunya store in New York City and got these little message cards that I will be sending out whenever someone buys one of my Lolita pieces that I am selling on Lace Market. Super cute. Everything in that store is absolutely what I love and very dangerous for my wallet. I was going to get three packs of these. These only come in cards of five. So there are cards and envelopes. And on them there's a print. I believe it's supposed to be like Nutcracker theme. So you have the tutu. Lipstick, mirror, ballet shoes, and roses. Absolutely adorable, and I love it. That is my BTSSB New York Fashion Week haul. I'm so glad I got to experience it, and I'm really thankful to my friend who got me in as her plus one. Maybe I'll do this again. I don't know. But thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you.